शांति शांति ओम भद्रं कर्णे विश्वयाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये मक्षजत्रा स्थिरंगुष्टुवागुंसस्तनु व्यशेम देवित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्ति न स्ताक्षो अरिष्ट नेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शाति 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 ओ नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वंश ऋषिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोप्लवरहित प्रज्ञान घन प्रत्यगर्थ ब्रह्मवाहमस्म ब्रह्मवाहमस्म ओ शाति 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 श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम अज्ञानतिरांदनशलाकया चक्षुन्मीलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओ पंतरा नंबर फोर नायमात्मा प्रवचने सॉरी नायमात्मा बलहीन लभ्य नायमात्मा बलहीन लभ्य न च प्रमादा तपसो वाप्यलिंगा न च प्रमादा तपसो वाप्यलिंगाएतते यस्तु विद्वा एतरुपाएतते यस्तु विद्वान् विद्वान्श आत्मा विशते ब्रह्मधाम तस्श आत्मा विशते ब्रह्मधाम नायमात्मा बलहीन लभ्य न च प्रमादा तपसो वाप्यलिंगा नायमात्मा बलहीन लभ्य न च प्रमादा तपसो वाप्यलिंगाएतते यस्त विद्वान् तस्श आत्मा विशते ब्रह्मधाम एतरुपाएतते यस्त विद्वान् तस्श आत्मा विशते ब्रह्मधाम Last time we saw this mantra just began. I am Atma, that which is under discussion. The self that which we are talking in this section from mantra number one. Na balahi ne na labya. The one who is weak, one who doesn't have strength, he or she cannot gain the At. ना न प्रमादा नॉट बाय इंडिफरेंस मींस वन हु हैज इंडिफरेंस ही आल्सो ही और शी कैन नॉट गेन न तपसा वा अपि अलिंगात अलिंगात तपसा वापि न 
alingat. So without lingam means the chinham. Lingam means the proof. Lingam means in a way means also. We'll see that later. Here it is in a sense of renunciation. Tapas without renunciation. Not by tapas without renunciation. Napi tapasa vapya lingat. Na labya. One may have tapas. Here tapas also is in a sense of knowledge. One may pursue knowledge. But then without sannyasa. Translation looks like it is not going, you know, we're not going to gain the self. Then he says, Etaihi upayehi yastu yatate. One who strives, one who pursues through these upayas. The sesha atma vishate brahmada. His self enters into a board of Brahman. Okay. So, one who does not put, put forth adequate efforts to gain the self along with necessary means in terms of balam, in balahina is not gained. Inner strength, he only gains his self as though, you know, enters the abode of Brahman. Let us understand this mantra properly. We have seen partially last time. Here certainly balam is not, it means strength is nor physical nor possession. Balam in terms of possession, strength in terms of finance, strength in terms of power, strength in terms of connection or strength in terms of knowledge. It is not talked about. Aparavidya. One may be great knowledgeable except Brahma Vidya. That strength is not talked about. What is the strength that is talking about? Understand the fundamental problem of human being is ignorance. Self-ignorance. Self-ignorance causes a sense that I am limited or I am dukhi. That's inbuilt. Ignorance being swabhavikam from birth, there is a sense I am insufficient. I am incomplete. Incomplete because of I, have, I didn't have some toys. <laughs> I didn't have some friends. I didn't have this mobile. I didn't have this dress, whatever. So the cause of my insufficiency kept on shifting. But I always felt insufficient. Always felt incomplete. Always felt unhappy with myself. That ignorance is a fundamental problem. Now, The, the, yeah, and that ignorance can go only by knowledge, nothing else. So, what is a palam for atma, for moksha? Palam for moksha is self knowledge. Self knowledge is palam. Balahina means primary meaning is one who is devoid of self knowledge. Na labya, tena na labya. Okay. The means for self knowledge is what? We have seen earlier quite a few times. Atma vare, shrotavya, mantavya, nididhyasita. Shravana, primary means again. Manana nidhyasan. To do shravanam, you ought to have a teacher. Where teacher, that teacher who is Shrotriya Brahmanista. And one ought to have proper Shraddha on the teacher. Proper attitude towards Shastra. Proper attitude towards Guru. So if the mind is inhibited, 
obstructed without having obstructed because no shraddha on teacher pravachana teachings will not help having had the teaching if there is certain degree of sharpness is missing then can't atma that being so subtle you require a subtle buddhi so it will not work and having had the teaching having had the subtle buddhi certain sharpness teaching still cannot work if mind is stifled with certain emotional problems and doubts habitual errors take charge of the person that unconscious of the person becomes so powerful as we call it in modern psychology or vasanas or samskaras that person that son is driven by his or her own unconscious you know some these are people having their own psychological problems very good people very knowledgeable very sharp shastra study but certain moments anxiety takes over tension takes over <laughs> they become anxiety because there is this insecurity takes over i should be in control i cannot i cannot tread unknown path unless i have certainty i cannot do that i want this will be like this that will be like this that will then only i proceed all kinds of childhood issues are there and doubts created by oneself or others when that is there that has to be addressed that is inhibitions of intellect so removal of doubt through mananam and removal of habitual errors through niridhyasanam is necessary capacity to do both is a strength incapacity to do mananam nididhyasanam that is person without strength balahina nayam atma balahina yanalabhya the person without balam inner strength that mind is not inhibited by doubts and mind is also not inhibited by emotional issues habitual errors the atma buddhi some psychological issues insecurity and anxiety and stress and control freak people are there. they want situation to be certain way people should be certain way i want this way, that way things to happen this way only that creates problems for themselves they lose the wisdom that they have momentarily they lose the insight they had about themselves because of this control psychology they say control archetype so that is balam one balam is in the shraddha is a balam capacity to do shravana manana nididhyasana is balam that's a primary obstacle but the primary obstacle of self ignorance can be addressed only and only if the secondary obstacles are removed what is secondary obstacle in gita's language bhagavad gita's language secondary obstacles are likes and dislikes technically called mala and vikshep general restlessness of the mind and subjectivity in my persona what is subjectivity person would be highly opinionated person 
this person is like that, that person is like that, that person is like that. This should be like this, this should not be like this. Strongly opinion. Strong value structures, they are all secondary obstacles. Unless these secondary obstacles are addressed, neutralized, primary obstacle cannot be addressed or removed. You know, so one has to have pure mind. It is like person having a high BP and high sugar. Primary obstacle is a tumor in the stomach. That's a primary problem. <laughs> but when they said tomorrow you have operation, suddenly blood pressure shot up. <laughs> My operation, what will happen to me? How will I, blah, 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 blah. The BP goes up. And then out of that also, sugar sometimes goes up. So they have to bring back this blood pressure and sugar through medication to some normal level, normal range. And then they can address the second, uh, primary obstacles in terms of tumor, removal of tumor from the body. Here, you cannot give a pill to purify antakarana. You, know? <laughs> you may have a soap to cleanse the body, purify the body. But you cannot have, this is your tablet, take one, mine will be pure. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. There is no injection or tablet for that. The only means for Antakarana Shuddhi is Seva and Karma Yoga. One need to live a life or perform one's actions in the awareness of Ishwar. That you can call Bhakti also. Same thing. Offering my all actions to Ishwara. Accepting all situation, people, etc. as a prasada. This attitude of awareness of Ishwara gives one the strength to purify the mind. What is the symptom of impure and pure mind? <laughs> which mind can be called as impure and which can be called as pure? Glass. Glass pine. Mind infested with strong likes and dislikes is impure. What, as I had said last time, weak is always overpowered by strong. It may be physical weakness, we will be physically weak will be overpowered by the physically strong. Emotionally weak, also emotionally overpowered by emotionally strong person. Here, I am overpowered by my likes and dislikes. That's the weakness. They dictate me, my fences, my values. They dictate my life. So not to come under the sway of one's own likes and dislikes, which is one's own creation. Look at this samsara. No? <laughs> People say, hey, Bhagavan, why are you giving me so much of unhappiness? <laughs> Bhagavan, chun chun ke mujhe dukh deta hai. <laughs> you know, he has been selectively giving me all unhappiness and pain. It's okay, there may be some situational pain, losing some near one, near and dear one or 
having some problem near and dear when sick or terminally ill or whatever. That's okay. That I will talk some other time. But in day-to-day -day life, we say, hey, well, oh, I'm stuck with this idiot. <laughs> they are thinking, everybody is bad except me. They are thinking, nobody understands except me. <laughs> this is your likes and dislikes talking. When you come under the sway of your likes and dislikes, you are a weak person. Not to be overpowered. Not to be swayed away by my own likes and dislikes. That's a strength. Not to get disturbed by my own likes and dislikes. Then people feel uncomfortable, unhappy because this person is like that and that person is like that and there is like that, blah, 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 goes on. That's how the person is. You want to dictate them to be what, in your opinion, they should be. We are so much of judgmental people. Wife should be like that, husband should be like that, brother should be like this, son should be like that, daughter-in-law, etc., etc., they must be like this. My home should be like this. You know, some people have cleanliness phobia. <laughs> so much. <laughs> like, and some people have maintenance phobia, like Swami Dhanji was telling. Yeah, they went to somebody's house and that uh, servant came and gave them a uh, old mattress. Sit down here. There were chairs. Samaji said, okay, well, what about these chairs? Why can't we sit? No, no, no. Chairs may get solid. <laughs> it may get broken. So, and it has to be kept as it is polished. Nice one. It will be spoiled if you, people start sitting on the chair. <laughs> That lady never gave chair anyone to sit because chair gets spoiled. Then why the hell did you buy it? <laughs> Another lady I know, she has all white tiles in the room. And she doesn't allow anybody to come in. Whosoever is there, wait, I'll come and collect. Wait, I'll come and collect. And then she complains, hold, I'm tired of you. But then child says, then, then mop it again. <laughs> no, 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 you can't do that. He said, this is all small things. But they kill people. They become unhappy because of their own value structure. Own ragad missions. That person is doing like this and she, he or she should behave like this and he or she should study. Right. Why people, especially in case of kith and kin, near and dear ones, we have a specific idea how he or she should be behaving, what he or she should be doing, what he or she should not be doing. Parents have that thing about children and children have about parents. They have, parents have grown up and they want to go out they should not go out. Why did they go out? So much of strong likes and dislikes. Swami Dhananji used to say this. I really often tell myself and I see in the world. People are unhappy not because of the situation. People are unhappy. They say I am unhappy because of this situation. But unhappiness is caused by their own likes and dislikes rather than the situation outside. It has to be clean. It has to be like this. It should not be like this. Blah, blah, blah. Leave it. Give space to them. And most of the houses have seen teenage children's mom. So much of controlling. Where did you go? Where did you go? Why did you go? Keep your room clean and tidy. Did you talk with them properly? Blah, blah, blah. Teenage become so rebellion. 
whatever mom says, I will never do. If she says to do. And if she asks me not to do, I will certainly do it. <laughs> they just be opposite to mom because of the control freak moms. <laughs> Advice is giving freak moms. Keep advising. Dress up properly. Study where? You are not studying where? Such and such a boy is studying 12 hours. Such and such a boy is studying 16 hours. But did you go and see that? <laughs> and that doesn't mean your child should study. Your child is your child. It will not, 12 hours will not suffice. He is a dumbbell in queue. He has to study for 20 hours to get that score. <laughs> or the child is brilliant. He may not require those hours. But control, control, control. You become unhappy because of your own values, your insistences, your likes and dislikes. Pujya Swamiji often used to say, to the extent you allow others to be what they are, to that extent you are free. We are bound, we are unhappy. Because we want people to be in a certain way. We want people in certain, not to be in certain way. Child is getting up late, the mom keeps shouting, wake up early. early. Why don't you wake up early? <laughs> they keep giving example. When I was of your age, I used to wake up at five o'clock. When I was at your age, I used to wash my clothes. <laughs> When I was of your age, I used to clean the press my clothes and keep it so neat and tidy. Come all the time comparing what I was and what you are. Ah. But you found out those areas which they didn't agree. Or <laughs> he was opposite to you. But in certain areas, they are much more better than you. You don't talk about that. <laughs> it is like the joke, you know, this father... <laughs> was always telling like this. When I was your age, etc. So on. Then he used to give examples of national leader, often telling, when Jawaharlal Nehru was of your age, he was the president of Youth Congress. When Jawaharlal Nehru was of your age, then he became this and blah, blah. One day, child got wide. He said, Bapa, Jawaharlal, Yuvanata, Ivat Mukhi Dyo, Tamari Ummara, Jawaharlal Deshna, Vada Pradhanata. Nehru was a prime minister at your age. <laughs> Whole country used to follow him. Whereas you are also of the same age. But my mother doesn't listen to you. So don't keep telling me. When Jawaharlal was of your age, he did this. <laughs> Jawaharlal was of your age, he did this. Why? Give space. If you want people to change, have an attitude of helping, not control. Be suggestive. Be communicative. This can be done this way. Not that you must do this way, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't work at all. To the extent you allow people to be what they are, to that extent you are free. It is not people. The extent you allow situation to be what it is. <laughs> this is how it is, except the fact. You know, when there's people, you have a white times, people comes with solid foot, it will become dirty. Mop it twice. Full stop. Well, it's so much of obsession people have. You must wash clothes by 6 o'clock. You must clean up the thing. By 8.30 everything should be done. Kitchen should be over. I mean morning too. What does it make difference? Whether it is 8.30 or 9.30. And they push us but You should give your clothes. Wake up at 6 and give me the clothes. The fellow says, I don't mind. I don't want to wake up. I'll give my, you wash my clothes next day. <laughs> I'll put it in, the, in that washing box, etc. No, 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 no. 
it's bad for the health, for skin disease. You are, who are you to talk about skin disease? But she has an argument. You must give with the clothes. Fresh, you should give and give for washing. He said, don't worry, I'll put it in a clothes bag and tomorrow you wash it. Why you push me to wake up early? No, no, you must wake up so that I can wash the clothes on time. Hey, you, Papa, poor fellow. It's great, Papa, that he has this kind of wife who has so much of this kind of value structures. People become unhappy because of their own ragatveshas, own subjectivity, own value structure. They come under the sway of likes and dislikes. That is weakness. Secondary obstacle. Secondary balam is what? I never come under the sway of my likes and dislikes. I live my life in such an awareness of my cognitive faculty. In understanding the things as it is, few things. That is balam. Okay. Next is na pramada. What is pramada? Pramada means slothfulness, laziness, lack of alertness, absence of alertness or this indifference is pramada. Means any, any amount of slothfulness or indifference in pursuit of moksha is Pramada. So while studying also, every day in and day out, I should be able to absorb it, what the teacher says. That incapacity to do that is a Pramada. Knowing fully well that I should work for it. Some people don't work upon themselves. That is Pramada. Okay? Here, <coughs> Pramada is lack of vairagya. Presence of Raga Dvesha is Pramada. I don't work on my likes and dislikes. I don't work on my own mind. As I said, a mind that is led by, mind that is driven by likes and dislikes is a weak mind. If the mind is not driven by likes and dislikes, I have to work for it. I have to look at it, my own mind, which are the likes and dislikes which drives me away. And I have to process it out. And work it out and learn to grow out of it. And incapacity to work, to grow out of my own likes and dislikes is a pramada, one kind of pramada. Na pramada. So, omissions and commissions. Anything that which is stands in between what I want. And what I do now or what I have is a pramad. That in-between thing has to be removed. Not to address that issue is pramad. Here, in contextual sense, pramada is absence of vairagya, lack of vairagya. See, earlier it was said, Yame Vaishe Vrunute, Tasseisha Vrunute, Tanumswam. One who chooses Atma. One has to choose. It has to be deliberate desire for moksha. That's okay. Is it enough? No. That is mokshacha. The other side of mokshacha coin is what is the other side of mokshacha? Vairag. If one has vairagya, then mokshicha will be stronger. And if one doesn't have vairagya, that will be obstructed. 
Iraga means any desire, a desire for something other than me, anatma itsa. It's generally. Vairagya means atma itsa only. So any itsa desire for one anatma. It can accommodate another desires for another anatma. I can have desire for mobile, desire for car, desire for a new dress, or desire for new, 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 new something. At the same time, I can entertain 5, 10, 20 desires. Because these anatma icha are not opposed to each other. This atma icha and anatma icha are opposed to each other. I want atma also. And I think I'm going good at work at least. Let's have darshan. <laughs> so, anatma icha along with one atma icha, one bhagavad darshan icha. That can also be there. Moksha Chha, as some used to say, is like a jealous wife. It cannot stand any other desire. So, the desire for Moksha is opposed to desire for Ragas, some Anatma. So that being a case, it says, Nayamatma palahine nalapya nacha pramada tapaso vapyalinga. Neither pramada nor this pramada means pramada will not give so absence of vairagya or little less vairagya will not get you to motion because atma cannot join, atmicha cannot join. I want this and that, and along with that, I want atmicha. Won't work. How are you studying Gita? I want to go abroad. Therefore, I'm studying Gita. <laughs> I'm the urban guy. He said, why did you come here? Since you do not know much of English. Well, therefore, I came here. I said, why? Because Swamiji talks only in English. And he has so many devotees in US and Canada. So I learn English and I want to go to US Canada. <laughs> Moksha will not come. So, Pramada, one cannot be negligent to one's own mind in terms of entertaining all these fancies along with Moksha. Moksha, as I said, is a very jealous wife and control freak wife. <laughs> Where were you? Why did you go there? Whom with whom did you talk? <laughs> Why you dressed up well today? <laughs> Who are coming in the party? <laughs> you know, she controls every moment. So moksha can work. So pramada is little lack of vairagya here. When it is there, vairagya is not there. Proper, it will not work. Because it will be distracting the person from main pursuit. And that distraction will take him back to samsara. Okay. Nacha, look at this. Navapi, na tapasa, alingat, vapi. Va na api. Okay. What he says, tapas is a means. Okay. What is tapas? Some a kind of commitment. We have seen this, you know. Commitment to, to accept certain physical, psychological pain. Voluntary. And in the awareness of Ishwara. Okay. But here, tapas is not there. There is another meaning, tap alochane. And tapas means knowledge, pursuit of knowledge. 
ಸತಪೋ ತಪ್ಯತ ತಪಸ್ತಪ್ತಗುಂ ಸರ್ವಸೃಜತ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ತಪಸ್ ವಿನ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ನಾವು ಅಲಿಂಗಾತ್ ತಪಸ ಒನ್ ಮೇ ಪರ್ಸ್ಯೂ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಂಗಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಲಿಂಗಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೇತು ಕಾರಣ having which you can infer something else like the smoke on the hill is a lingam is a hetu cause for you to infer infer that the mountain has some fire so that alinga what is a linga sanyasa is a linga or tapas that means to gain this knowledge one should have sanyas that means who are non sanyasis will never gain knowledge that means in our in this lectures only one person who happens to be sanyasi will gain it others will not gain it that is not the case okay what is sanyasa understand sanyasa is is not a a, a symbol that you do this support to and this you wear particular this kind of clothes and you can you have few things like that only then you are a sanyasi no sanyasi is a mindset it's your understanding your appreciation about what you want and what the world is to offer that clarity that sanyasi is a mind which is free free from any hang ups as they say popularly called no attachment not no connection no dependency that i must have this then only i become happy in a situation only should be like this and then only i can be happy etc nothing free mind can accept the things as they are it is this is how it is and i accept it that person that tapas linga is and that person who is that mind wears certain clothes which our culture gives a sanction which our shastra gives a sanction implying that i am not interested in anything except moksha that's all sanyasa is mind i don't want any so without that mind set even if one pursues knowledge is not going to work okay so commitment to a, a gain knowledge pursue the pursuit of knowledge is if it is missing then one cannot gain the sun. okay further we'll see next week <clears throat> i still have some throat issues om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadhaya purnameva avashishyate ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸಿ ಟು ವಾರ್ಮ್